Welcome back to the channel everybody. I am Florida Boy. This is my ADC channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at my alpaca hub pouch. Let's get into it. All right, so I have been carrying this, and uh, of course you did, you know, if you if you watch, I'm not going to assume, if you watch the videos on my channel, which I hope you do, I, I think they're pretty good. <laughs> um, this is the Alpaca Hub Pouch, and of course we have the, um, the Hook and Loop variant here, and uh, I've been carrying it for a little while, and... Um, yeah, I, you know, at first I was like, mm, I don't think pouches are for me, but actually I'm kind of enjoying it. Uh, I've been carrying this together with the, uh, oh gosh, uh, the zip pouch. I'm just going to call this a zip pouch. I think that's the name for it. Um, I've been carrying this with a zip pouch as a wallet and um, yeah, I've, I've actually been kind of enjoying it. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll go over the couple little things where I was kind of like, e iffy. But, um, so for what I've been carrying in here and we'll, we'll talk, we'll talk about what you can fit and you know, all that good stuff. But for what I've been carrying in here, I've just been carrying like some of my normal EDC stuff. I do carry an EDC bag, so I don't have to carry quite as much inside of this guy. So, uh, if you're wondering about him, he runs about $39 on the Alpaca gear website. I will have my link down in the description below, and I will have a discount code. If you'd like to save 10% off, that will also be down there. So take a look and uh, see for yourself. Uh, now my particular bag right here, this is the black X-Pack X50 version. Um, X-Pack is a great material, it's waterproof, it's lightweight. Um, and I mean, really, I, I have almost no complaints with X-Pack. I really, really like the texture, I like the way it feels. Um, these are YKK reverse coil zippers. Um, if you saw mine hanging up there for a second, it's just because I've got a flashlight and stuff pushing down at the corner. Um, it's not because the zippers hang up for any reason. They're, they're butter, buttery smooth for as smooth as a zipper can be. Okay. <laughs> so, um, what I carry inside of mine, uh, these are just normal EDC items for me. Uh, I did move a couple things around just for this little, uh, this little pouch, <laughs> Um, and with my experience so far, um, I, it's great for some pants and shorts, um, some others, not so much. Uh, so in this front zipper here, I really just keep my coin. Uh, this is my little good luck charm I got from, I got from my buddy, Dan, one of my little sentimental things I like to carry around. Um, and then of course this came out of my, um, my admin pouch, my alpaca admin pouch that I was using as a toolkit. And, uh, I figured there was already a screwdriver in there and I didn't have one directly inside my pocket. So I moved this over. Um, also came from Dan. <laughs> uh, man, if I had a big enough bag to just fit everything that he sends me and just carry it all at one time, I, I would totally do it. Um, this is the fireflies, just this, one of their stainless steel lights. Um, runs on a double A. It's not very, very big. If you want to see the size of this compared to something a little bit larger, there it is next to an Arkfeld. Um, and we'll just put it up next to a Warrior Mini so you can just kind of get an idea of the size of these loops. Um, next, this is just a small titanium vial, just holds medicine. And then I just have a couple other little things in here. I just have a backup pen. I keep my normal pen in my bag. And then I have my trusty Kaiser Walnut. This thing sees tons and tons and tons of use. And that's all I've been carrying in here. Uh, just like I said, just my normal like on body stuff aside from what I carry in the zip pouch. Um, and so far, like I said, I've, I've enjoyed it. And the only thing I don't really care a lot for is this is not very big. This is, this is pretty small. And that's, that's, that's what you want if you're going to carry it in your pocket. Now, in terms of thickness, um, for work a lot, I'll wear, um, jeans and in particular, I wear boot cut. Uh, the brand is true religion. If you have any idea, um, the fitment for those, uh, they're not necessarily tight around like the thighs before they flare out. 
but um it's they're definitely more of like a slim like a slim cut and uh this inside that pocket it's a little tight um not not terrible but it, it is a little tight if you're watching this video you probably already carry pouches and you probably already know the spiel but for anybody thinking about picking one up to just kind of get into that game uh, just something to consider. You you do notice this is in your pocket because all that gear that you would normally kind of spread out in one pocket or between two pockets, it is now in one pouch in the bottom of one pocket. So keep that in mind. Uh, you do you do notice a little bit of a difference just in basic like feel. Um, like I said, going back to the zippers, the zippers are great. Um, YKK really can't. I mean, you really can't go wrong with YKK. Uh, I. This, it's not really any kind of, you know, waterproof, but not necessarily a big thing if it's going to be in your pocket. Now, the X-Pack, if you go with an X-Pack variant, X-Pack itself um, is is more waterproof. And um, I just want to put this out here so that we have it side by side. I'm going to move some of this gear out of the way. And you can see next to the admin pouch. So the admin pouch, quite a bit bigger. There you go. You can see we got a we got a pretty big difference in size here. This is what I carry in my EDC bag, and it's basically my toolkit. And um, if we open this up, you can see it just kind of fits on the inside of this. I could literally close this up and zip it up inside of there, but that is the difference in size. This admin pouch you are not going to carry on body not going to happen. It also doesn't have a way to do it. Uh, the only way you're going to carry this on body is if you are still wearing your parachute pants. So this is definitely the on body carry. And like I said, you could absolutely get away with this. If you are a minimalist and you just want to carry a couple things, maybe a coin, fidget, slider, stuff like that. Um, this would be great. And this does have those waterproof zippers. So let me get that back out of the way. Now the hook and loop on the front. Uh, I do not have anything on mine, but if you watch any of the, you know, do any of the Olight sales or anything like that, um, I've got a couple different patches here that can give you an idea of the size of this front panel. Um, like the, the, one of the more recent patches, the Spur Dog patch, a little too big. I don't know if that is just going to destroy y'all's ears. Sorry if it does. Um, but your standard little Olight patch, yeah, that'll fit fine. Um, the little Olight, this one I think is actually still in their little shop. Uh, the smaller, smaller patches will definitely fit with no problem. And um, I, I haven't found a patch that I really wanted to put on here yet. I wish Alpaca had patches. <laughs> I'm one of those keep it on brand type people. I know, I know it's kind of dumb, but, uh, it's, I don't know if it's an OCD thing or what it's. <laughs> so let's go to what we can fit in here. So I've got, I've got some stuff around me, um, all around me. <laughs> so, um, just to kind of go ahead and get this out of the way here is a baton three pro max. This is a very, very common flashlight right now, and it will fit just not necessarily comfortably. Um, I, I don't even think you could put it in behind one of the pouches. You'd have to just kind of lay it in there. It would almost just be a carry case for the Baton 3 Pro Max. So <laughs> not your best bet. Double uh, A flashlights are going to be kind of where it's at. Double A's and triple A's. Um, stuff like this is going to fit relatively easy. So you have a couple bigger loops here on the side. And this stuff will slide in. If you know, I can figure it out. Um, that stuff will slide in. You've got plenty of clearance. The smaller AAA lights will fit in the smaller loops pretty well. Um, that'll work good. If you do a bunch of stuff with clips, you're going to have clips clacking together. So, um, if you're going to pick up something like this, plan the gear you're going to carry in it accordingly. Uh, I don't mind if things kind of bump and grind together. It doesn't really bother me all that much. Um, but some people like to keep theirs in pristine condition, which is okay. I mean, you paid for it. If you want it to stay looking new, then that's, I mean, that's your prerogative. Why not? If I can keep something looking fresh and clean for a while, I will. Like I said, why not? 
Um, so flashlights, not a, not a huge deal. Uh, as long as you're not trying to fit, you know, something, something big in there, something like an arc feld, you're going to kind of run into the same, same dealio as the pro max. This will fit a little bit better behind the pouch. So you could carry an arc feld, uh, if you're going to carry it inside of one of these little rings, uh, just barely it'll, it'll close, but it's kind of, it's going to be kind of awkward. So, um, get that out of the way. Same thing, Warrior Mini. You can see Warrior Mini. You got to kind of take into account here these seams that we have on the edge. So, if I grab, well, I was hoping I had a tape measure right here, but I guess a ruler will do. So, if I grab a ruler and I go from seam to seam and lay this nice and flat, we are roughly at four and a half inches. And then we'll just go straight across, butterfly it out. Um, well, I guess I can go swine. I was going to, we'll say interior. Um, interior between each one, each uh, pocket about three inches. So you get about six, inch of, six inches wide of usable space. And uh, it's, it's, it's actually more space than it sounds like. I know it sounds like it's super tiny, but I, I promise it's not. Like you can really, you can really load this thing out. Like here we have the Pyrite, the new Warney version. Um, just cause I carry small gear in here does not mean that's all that it fits. See the Warney Pyrite fits fine for something larger, like a knife like this. I'd probably put it more towards the inside of this guy here. Just, I don't know. It just kind of, it just kind of lines up better versus being on the outside, but you can absolutely use this to carry multiple knives. So we can just we can just start stuffing knives in there. So there's the CJRB. There's the Echo. I'm um, just trying to use stuff that people are probably carrying right now that's all hype. You can see here the Rat Model 1 absolutely does not fit. And then, of course, we already know this fits. This is the Kaiser Walnut that I just failed flipping. Um, this, is a, this is actually a really, really small knife. <laughs> so it's it's no wonder that this thing actually fits in there but then you know something like the article um we'll put an i5t in there this is the uh what is this the high cri the hcri and then i've got a couple i3ts uh man what else do i got over here um we will do i don't know shove a pin in there and there we go. So this thing does hold a lot of stuff. So we've got two flashlights. We've got a razor. I've still got plenty of space here in a pouch. I didn't even, well, yeah, I didn't even really use any of this backspace. Back behind here, it's not a dump style like on this side. You've just got two other pouches. See, they're actually separated. You can see the seam right here in the middle. So you could carry bigger items like knives in the back if you wanted to. Um, but it's, you know, regardless, it doesn't, doesn't really matter from what I've seen as far as like fitment goes. I think it's all just preference. And even though all that stuff is crammed in there, closes up a little thick, a little chubby, but still have our, <laughs> you still have our little hub, a little hub attachment on the end. Um, but what I, what I was trying to get at is this thing holds a lot more and see, I, the only thing about this front zipper is once you start packing this thing out, this is a tight space. And that's why I'm just throwing coins in here. You know, I keep my coin in there, zip it all up. And then there you go. You've got a very nice, small little <laughs> pocket weight. No, um, you have a nice little pouch that literally we've got two knives, two flashlights, a pen and a utility blade, um, all inside this little pouch. So this, it, it does hold a lot. It really does. Um, I was actually kind of impressed. I thought it was going to be a little small when I first got it. And then I just started cramming stuff in there. And then I was like, you know, I'm not really going to carry a ton of stuff in here. I'm just going to carry my normal. And uh, that's how I ended up just carrying like my normal pocket carry stuff. And uh, I've been I've been really happy with that. I've really, I've still been playing around with kind of how I want the layout. Um, but you know, that's that, like I said, that's a preference thing and you, you kind of just figure it out as you go. <laughs> so fireflies goes there. Um, 
There we go. We got our hiker Swiss Army knife. I can't remember where I had this. Probably just somewhere like there. Doesn't really matter a whole lot. Kaiser Walnut over the top. And we have a little open. There we go. I'll just slide it in that little front pouch. That's fine with me. And that is how I'm carrying my setup at the moment. And like I said, it's just it's just something, you know, I may even move this pen like over here. I, I don't know. I don't know because I still got plenty of space I haven't used. I'm just trying to use it, I don't know, kind of minimally, I guess. I don't know. I'm still, still got some playing around to do to figure out where I want everything. This may even end up just going with something like this. Like I'll put it right here in this little crevice because I, I'm not the biggest fan of the tiny, tiny Olight pens. Um, I use the bigger ones. So this is more or less just a backup pen for me anyways. And that's what I carry. That's, uh, that's, that's him fully loaded out. And I've got, like I said, so far pretty much only good things to say. Um, I definitely like the availability of this. If anybody here has been trying to get, whew, get their hands on the garage built gear pouches or, oh God, even like the data sliders. Jesus, those things are so hard to get your hands on. Um, these are in stock, ready to roll, different variants, all that good stuff over at Alpaca. And uh, Alpaca's got great stuff. I'm not going to lie. It is, I, I am an affiliate, of course. I do, if you use my links, I do get a commission from them. But um, I'm not just saying that to try to hype up the brand, you know, uh, full transparency. I really, really like Alpaca. Uh, I, I love it whenever I get a, you know, a little bit of like, you know, a little bit of gear from them for me to do reviews. I, I love seeing that stuff come in because I'm going to use it. I'm going to love it. I already know I am. And uh, pretty much everything they've sent me, I use on like a day-to-day -day basis. My EDC bags, Alpaca, all my pouches are Alpaca. My hat that I wear is Alpaca. I keep an extra face mask in my bag every day. That's an alpaca face mask. Like they make good stuff. If you haven't, if you haven't played around with them yet, you, you won't be disappointed and they got good return policies. So kind of like a, you know, no risk, no hassle. So this is the hub pouch. And like I said, mine is the X 50 variant with of course the hook and loop on the front. So, um, I guess final words for this. I think it's great. Uh, you know, if you, if you're trying to figure out if you're a pouch guy, you, you kind of just got to do it. Um, <laughs> that's, that's kind of what I did. I, I don't carry a lot of pocket. I, I, I did carry a couple pocket organizers, which are just, you know, open face, have a couple slots. You can slide your pen and stuff in there. Um, but as far as like a pouch goes, this is new to me. And, uh, I kind of, I kind of dig it. It feels a little, like I said, it feels a little weird on certain, certain types of pants like in certain certain jeans and whatnot but um aside from that i i think i think you're good to go i like it uh, i'm going to continue carrying it for a while and i'll update if it you know falls apart or anything so thank you guys so much for stopping by checking out the channel i greatly appreciate it if you enjoyed it please hit that like button consider subscribing i'll catch you on the next one